Well, I'm Matt. And I'm Jason. Yep, and this is the Jedi News Channel. Now, today we're going to talk about video games and Star Wars. A lot of you probably enjoy playing Star Wars video games. And as of recent news, that can't happen anymore because we found out that LucasArts was actually shut down by Disney, meaning that all Star Wars video games were kind of put on hold. And so we were anticipating Battlefront 3 or Star Wars 1313, maybe some new RPG games, and all of them kind of got canned. They were shelved. But actually, recently, as of a few days ago, the rights to the Star Wars video games have been bought by EA. And so this is a huge deal because now we could see these video games we wanted, and they'll be produced and developed by EA. But there are some questions. Yeah. Number one, I know fans, they're going to want to know what games. What games are we going to get? And really, the, the details are pretty vague. We know what you want. You want Battlefront stuff. You want yeah. the Force Unleashed. Yes. You want some Old Republic stuff. Yes. Most likely, you're going to get that stuff. Those are big money makers, and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, hopefully they would come out. But some of the other question marks are, what do you do with titles like Angry Birds Star Wars, where Rovio makes those, and really has to, because, well, they are Angry Birds. And then you have the whole very popular LEGO Star Wars franchise, which has six, seven, eight games, if you count tablet games and mobile apps, which is then is another question. Are we going to get app games? from EA Sports for Star Wars. Yeah. Which it looks like we're gonna. The article specifically says that they will be also developing those app-based games as well, the mobile games. Yeah. And so it could be a huge thing for, for EA, really, because they're known as, primarily, I would say, EA Sports. Right? They create right. all of the... It's in the game. All the... Ma <laughs> say that again? That's It's in the good. game. Okay, that's good. And that's what we see with EA, but now we have the opportunity to see a whole different side of them with the Star Wars franchise, but... But the entire brand of EA is one that's even questioned, I guess. Yeah, fans apparently have a problem with them at times. So, in the comments, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good move for Disney to hire EA to exclusively do yeah. the video gaming? We know that EA also owns Bioware, which is a lot of, where a lot of those titles have come from already. But really, it's in the force. <laughs> that's the new one. That's, that's the new one. I just came up with that. I'm going to trademark that. <laughs> Sure, no one's ever thought of that. No, so we want to know your comments and make sure you come back into the Jedi News channel for all things Star Wars.